treat for you today. Ice cream. Yeah. You just have to make it using science. Oh. It's easy. Just put the cream and the sugar in a bag and put that bag into the ice salt mixture. Can anyone tell me why? Because you're too cheap to buy ice cream? That's exactly right, Echo. The salt lowers the freezing point of the ice, making it cold enough to make delicious ice cream. Vanilla ice cream? Mm, nothing as fancy as vanilla. This is plain ice cream. That way you can taste the ice and the cream. Come on, let's throw some flavor into this thing. I don't think we're ready for flavor. A little of this and a little of that. Derby, chemistry is a precise science. You can't just mix a bunch of random stuff together and expect it to work. Did it. I made ice cream. Derby, what have you done? I think it's pretty obvious. I've discovered I'm a werewolf. Now, back to my ice cream. You're not a werewolf. You must have created some kind of hair growth formula. That's another possibility. You signed up to learn cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Wait a minute. CPR stands for cardio something something? What'd you think it stood for? Close personal relationships. I was hoping I'd meet a cute guy to cut this class with. What did you think the dummies were for? Practice. I've been making out with this one for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Well, this is awkward. <laughs> anyway, who wants to save a life? Oh, me. I didn't... Me. OK, this has been fun. Ivy, you can't leave. You need to pass an elective. And the only other class with space still available is mock United Nations. Ooh, I'm really good at mocking nations. <laughs> hey, Turkmenistan, you may lead the world in iodine reserves, but the nightlife in Ashgabat leaves much to be desired. <laughs> Seriously, try to get a bowl of plov after 11. Ladies. Derby, you should stop using that stuff. It hasn't been tested. Sure it has. I tested it on my face, my chest, my other places. You need to do proper clinical trials. I'm in the middle of a 10-year project on plant growth acceleration. Somebody hoping to solve world hunger. That's sad, because in two minutes, I solved world baldness. A real problem. Trust me, Derby, nobody's going to be crazy enough to use that junk. Welcome yeah. on your right here. <laughs> All right, take it easy, everyone. There's plenty of hair to go around. <laughs> Derby? I heard about your little science experiment. I love you. <laughs> OK. <laughs> While you're waiting for an emergency responder to arrive, it's up to you to treat the victim. If they're in respiratory distress, first make sure you didn't just take their breath away at the sight of your glorious golden mane. Then tilt the head back to check for any airway obstructions, such as food or a swallowed tongue. This guy eats people's tongues? Do we really want to save the life of a cannibal? After you check for a pulse, begin performing chest compressions using both your brush hand and your blow dryer hand. <laughs> 
Begin pushing down rapidly about two times per second, making sure to keep your flowing youthful hair out of the way. You did it, Mr. Tater. You saved his life. Your turn. Who'd like to go first? I will. Now, keep in mind, this is a complex procedure I spent years mastering. Don't expect it. Done. No one wants a show off. <laughs> Ivy, why don't you give it a shot? First, check the airway for any obstructions. All clear. Now hold this while I save his life. The beloved and highly sought after rutabaga. Normally, it takes a hundred days to grow this waxy gem. But I hope to get that down to a mere three months. <laughs> Derby, you're late. Oh, yeah. Very oh, yeah. late. <laughs> Mr. Tater took me to lunch in the secret teacher's cafeteria. There's a secret teacher's cafeteria? Why don't I know about it? Tater doesn't think you'll last year, so uh, he doesn't want to waste any caviar on you. Excuse me. Is this where I can find the 14-year-old genius? Well, I don't like to refer to myself as a genius. <laughs> Although Humility Magazine had no trouble. <laughs> to whom should I make this out? Well, the name's Preston Pickles. But I'm not interested in your baby pictures. I want to talk to the hair-growing genius. And I'm guessing it's that guy rocking the Fu Manchu. <laughs> your Preston Pickles. Like I told that guy. I'm a huge fan of your infomercials. What's your favorite? The tan chamois? <laughs> no. <laughs> the spray on tie. <laughs> the home lipo sucker. I'm good. Too bad. I use human fat to power my car. Personally, I love your pocket oven. A classic. Oh. <laughs> Cajun chicken fritter. Awesome. Hmm. But needs mustard. Regular or Dijon? Dijon, please. <laughs> you have mustard in your cufflinks? They're condiment cufflinks. Do you not watch TV at 3 in the morning? No, I sleep. What a waste of time. I do all my sleeping while I'm awake. How do you do that? Sorry, I missed your question. I was asleep. So, are you in? In where? In the money. With your hair formula and my marketing genius, together we'll make millions. Millions, I tell you, millions. Millions? Millions. I tell you, millions. <laughs> Why, you're gonna be rich beyond your wildest dreams. Yes. I would like extra cheese on my pizza. <laughs> I'm in. I want to make millions, millions, I tell you, millions. Great. So we have a deal. Disposable, germ-free handshaker. How fantastic is that? Actually, it seems pretty wasteful. Not the fake hand. In fact, I'm going to make millions, millions, I tell you, millions. Derby, if you're going to bring your hair formula to the public, you need to test it. Make sure it's safe. I know what this is about. You're jealous. <laughs> jealous of what? That there's a new genius in town. A rich genius. Extra cheese rich. <laughs> uh, now, if you'll excuse me, I have a business empire to run. <laughs> That's right. I spent extra for the bow tie version. <laughs> We'll shoot the infomercial right here, where Hair Today was invented. That's what we're calling it. Hair Today. What do you think? I love it. I love it, I tell you, I love it. <laughs> Get your own shtick. Derby. Thank goodness I found you. I need more hair. 
That stuff only lasts a couple of days. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Baldies like this are gonna have to keep shelling out for more hair today. <laughs> Forget what I said about millions. We are gonna make billions. Billions, I tell you, billions! Is that what you want? Money? Because I got money. Not a lot of it, mind you, because I'm a high school principal who can't stay away from the ponies. <laughs> and it costs $3 to ride them at the petting zoo. <laughs> Toasty's my favorite. Well, I, I can't really spare any right now. That's good thinking, partner. Hold off a bit. We'll give it to him tomorrow during the infomercial. He can be the hair model. <gasps> hair model? I don't know which word I like more. Hair model. <laughs> hair. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna mass produce hair today at my factories in Turkmenistan. <laughs> oh, excellent workforce. Everyone there, an early riser. <laughs> I'll just need the formula. Right, the, the formula, which I totally know because I invented it. Are you okay? You're sweating. I don't have that problem. I funnel all my perspiration through the Preston Pickles pit filter. <laughs> it distills my sweat into fresh drinking water. <sighs> Where are my manners? I'm good. Great work, Echo. <laughs> That's right, everyone. Push down no more than two inches. What happened to make sure to keep your flowing, youthful hair out of the way? <laughs> Zip it, Blondie. Shouldn't you focus on saving your... Oh. Yay! What are you so happy about? My makeover. I'd leave a good-looking corpse since this dude was gonna wah, 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 anyway. <laughs> Look, Mr. Tater, I taught the dummies to save each other. Lousy show-off. I knew you'd be back. Do you want me to apologize first, or should you? You might as well, because I have nothing to apologize for. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm the one with nothing to apologize for. I was just being polite. That's a good quality. I'll keep it in mind when I'm deciding whether or not to make you my butler. <laughs> I'm not gonna be your butler. Well, you don't have the legs to be my maid. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna whip up another batch of my hair formula. Oh, be my guest. Meanwhile, I'm gonna record my rutabaga findings in a journal, comparing them to the data I've compiled from past rutabagas, the way scientists do it. Not listening, too busy making my formula by instinct and vague memories, the way geniuses do it. You don't remember how to make it, do you? Of course I do. It's just a little of this and a little of that. All right. Let's see if this stuff works. Darn, had no effect whatsoever on my hand. Oh! <laughs> ow, 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 ow! <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, not the face, not the face! <laughs> that so, did it work? Hey, that's inappropriate! <laughs> okay. Everyone in this class has successfully saved a life. Yeah. And by everyone, I mean everyone except Ivy. It feels good to be noticed. Come on, Ivy. If you want to pass, just save one lousy dummy. Heck, just lean over it and make a convincing ding sound. No, you need to do this. Because someday, you might save the life of a person who goes on to cure disease or discovers life on other planets, or opens the world's biggest mall. I can do this. Come on, dummy, stay with me. Oh, no, you don't. Don't you die on me. I think she's gonna do it.
the horror. The horror. Ding! Well, let's see if the 33rd time's the charm. Delicious ice cream? Dang it! Oops. <laughs> I've done it! Now I can become obscenely wealthy by a solid gold toilet, solid gold toilet paper, and a, a solid gold plunger. Because I'm not too sure the solid gold toilet paper is gonna flush too easily. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Yes! <laughs> Nothing can stop me now! <laughs> okay, who put those lockers there? So, are we handing out water to the whole audience? No. It's just that I get kind of nervous before an infomercial shoot. <laughs> Garlicky. Sorry. I had shawarma for lunch. If you're hungry, the leftovers are in the oven. New shirt? Yep. Mr. Tater bought it for me. Did she look me in the eye? Did she look me in the eye? What's the one thing we all wish we had more of? Money? Fame. Parents who aren't ashamed of you and change their last name to Pickford. <laughs> no. Well, the answer, of course, is hair. Well, now you can have as much as you want thanks to Hair Today, the only product scientifically proven to instantly grow hair. Scientifically proven? Ha! <laughs> I see we have some naysayers in the audience. Why, I bet you're one of those Luddites who doesn't drink his own sweat. Now then, let's get ready to meet the young genius behind Hair Today! Derby, your product is the greatest invention since sliced bread. Next to my single slice bread maker, which eliminates the painstaking task of slicing bread. <laughs> Could you give us a demonstration of hair today? I'd be happy to, Preston. I just need a volunteer from the audience. Well, then, let's see. How about you, sir? Me? But I am just a random audience member. <laughs> now, take a look at this poor slob. <laughs> I know, it's not easy given how his repugnant baldness must make your stomachs turn. Can we just get to the giving me hair part? Absolutely. And who could blame you for wanting to put an end to your baldy baldness, baldy? I just rub it in and hair today instantly grows hair. <laughs> Shouldn't it stop growing? Look at him. <laughs> What's happening to me? Yeah, Derby. What's happening to him? He's getting much more than you'd expect for 1995. I'm gonna get you, Derby. I can't see you, but keep talking. I'll follow the sound of your voice. Aha! Gotcha! <laughs> sudden hair growth I expected in my teen years. Derby? Derby? This is the worst production of hair I've ever seen. Ow! Ow. Hey, watch it. You can spin this into something positive, right? No. You're a nitwit. A nitwit, I tell you, a nitwit. That's beginning to lose its charm. Oh, this is bad. I needed hair today to be a big seller. Now how am I going to pay off that lawsuit for my beef jerky pants? <laughs> Who could have predicted that all those people would have been mauled by wild animals? <laughs> I'll be ruined. Ruined. <laughs> oh, no. I'll check his pulse. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know CPR. I know CPR. Don't go into the light. Uh-oh. I think rigor mortis is set in. Everyone, stand back. I'm trained in life-saving. Oh, no. Don't tell them I trained you. <laughs> 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 
You saved my life. I did. I saved your life correctly. Did you hear that, Mr. Tater? I passed your course. No, you didn't. Only counts if you do it on the dummy. <laughs> I can't see. No, no, watch it, Have to right away here. Hey, Adam, I came to... <laughs> What's with the hairnet? I'm working with food. I realized something while I was watching your train wreck of an infomercial. Yeah, I know I should have listened to you because you're always right. I'm not always right. Despite what they said about me in the July issue of Infallible Magazine. <laughs> if you'd like a signed copy, I could not. That's cool. So, what did you realize? That one of the ingredients you dumped in your formula was chlorophyll. The sun must have triggered photosynthesis, which caused the hair to grow exponentially. So my product will only work for people who will never see the sun. Great. You could corner the market on balding vampires. <laughs> and it may not be millions, I tell you, millions, but I think you'll like this. An A? The assignment was to make ice cream, and you, my friend, made ice cream. I did, didn't I? And I gotta say, being in the scientific spotlight isn't all it's cracked up to be. The pressures, the expectations. A female scientist groupies. <laughs> I'd have been better off inventing a formula for hair removal. <laughs> Care to join me in a little ice cream? Wrong <laughs> baby, wrong baby. Bye.